After taking a quick vacation to EDC Orlando, coming home with only 4 hours of sleep, and stressing the hell out over my college finals, I was finally able to make some time to get back to making YouTube videos. One thing I came across was this drama surrounding some furry VTuber called Garo Shadowscale. He looks like just another loud and annoying video game compilation VTuber on the surface. Park it gently, only the gentle, not the- OH! 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 SADLY! <laughs> But boy, let me tell y'all something. After what I'm about to show you guys, calling this dude insane is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure some of y'all have already seen it by now, so let's just get right into everything. The drama all started on November 3rd when Twitter user OMG Leto posted a screenshot of Garl's Discord server rules on his Twitter, and they were more than shocking to say at the very least. The biggest red flag is in the very first paragraph. Do not friend request or target other Wigglies. Now, it's safe to assume that Wigglies is like a nickname for his fans, and this dude even follows up basically telling his fans not to communicate with each other or become friends with one another. Like, dude, who the fuck has the audacity to say that? Imagine if I told y'all, y'all right now watching this video, that you couldn't be friends with other people on my Discord server unless I told you so. I would damn well hope you expose me for being such a dickhead like that. But I digress, so let's just keep moving on. The second paragraph goes on about how other people in this server aren't allowed to play games together, and if they want to organize a group activity, it has to include him. Not to mention going on about and, as always, keep the focus on myself and my content. I skimmed over a bunch of the paragraph and you guys can still get an idea on how controlling this Garo Shadowscale guy is. I have never seen someone so wrapped up with themselves like this where they have the audacity to tell their friends they can't hang out with other people or friend each other and topping it off with reminding them to focus on him and himself only. This is just screaming for attention bro. And it seems like if you just don't give him that attention that he begs for from everybody, you'll just get straight up kicked from the server. It's weird in a way. It's almost funny to see that this was a real post made unironically, simply because it's so unfathomable to even read about. The final icing on the cake is him mentioning that if you start streaming or making your own YouTube content, you'll get straight up removed from his server. That's right, if you want to make your own internet career and chase your dreams, not only will he not support you, but he will outright kick you from his server simply for doing so. It's another tactic to keep people close to him and to keep competition low, but man, dude, using someone's admiration for him against them is just downright nasty. There ain't no other way to put it, that is just straight up disgusting. What's worse is that I bet there are a few people in the server who do want to make their own content, but they don't want to lose the attention from one of their favorite content creators, so they don't do it. He knows this and is using it against them, a grown ass man by the way, is manipulating an audience of children for his own personal gain. His normal server rules ain't nothing better either, just take a look at this. To earn full server access, you'll have to attend the Discord stream where you listen to me. Only I have speaking power, while sending messages in there to gain XP to be able to chat in other channels. I'ma just let that simmer for y'all real quick. Let's take a moment to really think about what he just said. That's right, in order to gain full server access, you need to be in the call when he's live streaming. Oh, but you can't even speak to him, no 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 no, you're not worth that. Only sending messages to gain XP to chat elsewhere. Or you know, just slide over a couple of bucks to avoid all that nonsense, you know, really entice people to give you all their money by taking away basic Discord functions from them. The rules are just asinine to read, basically what the post from earlier said only in a more concise way to understand. Rule 3 especially is a highlight considering that what we've seen from this man so far, it's pretty ironic that this is a rule to begin with. It's obvious by now the dude's just trying to control everyone and everything no matter what, and it's honestly pretty embarrassing to see. Imagine being such a loser that you nickel and dime an audience of children and use their admiration for you against them, all while presenting yourself as a loud, happy, furry character. Let's see how far this man is willing to go to gain a quick buck though. It can't be that bad, right? So he doesn't have his financial information public on his Patreon right now, but I did find an old screenshot showing how he was reselling Twitch VIP badges in some of his tiers, which is against Twitch TOS by the way, do what you please with this information, which are now gone. However, what he's selling to people isn't what matters here, it's how much he's selling it for. For the low, low price of $250 a month, you get a 20 minute Discord private chat 
a single Discord DM every day, VR chat selfies, and a whole bunch of bullshit people should get for free. Oh, but the deals get even sweeter, as for $500 a month, you can get a 20 minute private VR chat call with him, two Discord DMs a day, and much more bullshit. I could go on about how much this dude's charging people for literally nothing, and the worst part is that there's a clip out there where he gave a bunch of VR chat hugs with him saying their tears out loud as if to embarrass them or something. It's super weird to play, just watch this. So. Satoshi, big I say Precious Wiggly, thank you so much for being a low-tier patron. I love it, appreciate you so, so much, Precious Wiggly. That makes me super duper happy to see. And don't forget, you can send me at least a DM every day and I will respond. Uh, you are guaranteed that as per your rewards. And also, I didn't forget that you're saying Friday would be a good time for the private call. Uh, Fridays are usually a bit rough for me, but I think I can do it. If not, then we can definitely reschedule it, but it will happen, of course. But I love you lots, I Precious Satoshi Wiggly. Thank you for your support and love. You mean so much to me, Precious Wiggly. I'm so happy to have you in my life every single day. As as much as I would like to make fun of the people paying monthly for basic video game functions, this needs to be said. Garl Shadowscale is using the people who acquire his admission so much to the point that they would pay over $100 a month just for any attention, and he knows it. Otherwise, these prices for the tiers wouldn't exist to begin with. I did the math, and just in that video clip alone, he made $650 off those people. People couldn't talk to him, by the way, as we've seen earlier, only be present in his Discord call as they can send messages for chat XP. I feel awful for those people because Garl's shadow skill is just using them to make money. He doesn't care about them, you don't get the vibe that he cares about them. He talks super quick through the thing like, oh yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, on to the next person, oh yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. You get that kind of vibe from it. You don't get no friendly vibe from that video clip. It just feels like Garl's shadow skill is being drugged through this monthly because, oh, I have to do it because I promised to do it for the people. It just leaves a very bad taste in my mouth. He clearly only wants one thing from his audience, their attention 100% of the time, and their money. Nothing more, nothing less. It's sad to see someone know how to use their charisma and their child audience to make as much money as they possibly can, but it's a good thing that people are made aware of this because someone like Garl Shadowscale deserves to be called out for this kind of behavior. Like I get the idea of streaming games and making YouTube videos is to hopefully make a job out of it, but manipulating children who admire you and sucking as much money as you can from them is beyond despicable. Hell, even if they aren't children, it's still a really shitty thing to do. But Grau doesn't seem to care not one bit, and judging by a few leaked DMs we're about to see, it only proves the point even more. As we can see here, we have a fan telling Grau how he's been to a few streams and such, acting like any fan would, happy to talk to one of their favorite content creators. Garl then chastises them for not being active enough, even having the exact amount of time being on his streams over the course of a few days, calling them out for having such a low watch time, and claiming in order to get the regular status on his server that you'll have to do better, much better. Here we have another instance of Grog telling someone happy birthday and then reminding them that all the attention on the server is for him and him only, and not to overstep their boundaries. Imagine talking to a fan like this, someone who enjoys being around you and supporting your content, only to talk down to them in such a nasty way. This isn't even being mean anymore, this is just being a downright despicable person. We have one more instance of Grog being a narcissistic asshole, this time from leaked messages on the messaging app Telegram. Garo is basically telling someone to stay out of his server because they are, and I quote, extremely dangerous. Garo goes on and on about how they are dangerous because they can make friends so easily, and starts telling the person to sever ties with one of his mods because he wants him to, basically just whining like a little bitch because he's not getting the attention he wants. Garl even goes on about how he manipulated and groomed the mod in question into being obedient and giving all his attention toward himself, quote, and then to teach him over time how to behave in my server and direct server focus and attention towards me as I do with my other mods. He then goes on to complain about how the person's attachment to this mod is such a travesty to deal with and how he talked with this mod over the course of two nights trying to manipulate them further back to being obedient to him and him only. To sum it all up, Garo's basically just trying to run a cult where everyone in his Discord server must praise him and him only or face severe consequences. To a certain extent, it's kind of funny seeing Garl go to such extreme lengths just to keep people talking to him and praising him. It really shows you just how likable of this person this guy is outside of YouTube. As we all know by now, Garl's shadow skill is a narcissist and manipulator who wants people to give him all their attention and money, using their admiration against them in order to attain those goals. He doesn't give a shit about any of his fans, he only wants to make a living off emotional abuse, and for a while he was getting away with it. 
if it wasn't for that Twitter thread, nobody would have known about what this dude was doing behind the scenes. Would like to be another run of the mill Twitch streamer, only for people to find out he's much, much worse than what's on the surface. Oh, but the video isn't over yet, as he made a video on his YouTube channel discussing the recent controversy, so why don't we go take a look at what he has to say for himself. Hey guys, I've seen a lot of discussion about my channel, my Patreon, my Discord. I wanted to address it and talk about it. First, I want to apologize for being rude or offensive to several people in DMs in the past. It was not my intent, and I never wanted to hurt anyone. I am a blunt and straightforward person by nature, but I am making an effort to be more careful and considerate with how I phrase things. I'm genuinely very sorry for any hurt I caused to anyone. That was never my intention. Now, the next thing, I've seen some people saying that my community is mostly made up of minors, and this is simply not true. YouTube is one of my biggest platforms and has some of the best analytics. And if you go down here, you can see that over 75% of my viewers are between the ages of 18 and 44. Less than 7% of my viewers are between the ages of 13 and 17. So less than 7% of my viewers are minors. The vast, vast majority of my viewers and community are over 18 years old. Forget the fact that he's just trying to put off his manipulation as being blunt and rude. The whole thing about using YouTube metrics to prove his audience isn't full of kids is a downright bad one. Listen, most metrics on YouTube are pretty useful, but the age one is not one of those. It's very easy for a young child to make an account and just add a couple of years to their age so they can use the site. Not to mention, lots of children that use YouTube also use their parents' accounts logged in already on their phone, so this piece of evidence showing how his audience isn't majority children is just absurd. And that's not even mentioning the type of content that he makes. This content is clearly for kids, so that whole age argument is thrown out the window. The videos are about the 10 year old age level, give or take a couple of years, something that people have been doing on YouTube for over a decade now, not something a 20 year old would watch on a daily basis. Now, regarding my Patreon, I've seen that some people have the impression that people have to be pledged to my Patreon to be part of my community, or even to talk to me. That's simply not true. Most of my community isn't pledged, and I chat and hang out with them every day, and Twitch and Discord for hours, regardless of Patreon status. And I do that because I love it. I love talking to my viewers and hanging out with my community. But for people who want more options, the tiers exist. It's 100% an extra thing that people can choose to pledge to if they want to. No one is under any obligation to pledge to my Patreon. It is 100% up to personal choice. They are free to choose if they want those tiers and rewards. Please don't harass my community members and viewers based on what they choose to spend their money on. Growl doesn't even try to defend his Patreon page. He basically just tells you, yeah, the tiers exist. You don't have to buy them. So what? What are you going to do about it? He fails to mention any talking points about his Patreon, like why does he charge $500 a month for two Discord DMs a day, and of course, fails to mention how he was breaking Twitch TOS with the now deleted Twitch VIP badge as one of the rewards in his Patreon. He clearly doesn't want to go any deeper into this as it would give him an extremely bad look, because how can anyone with the right mind defend this kind of Patreon page to begin with? Ignoring the issue and just telling people that it exists, deal with it, doesn't answer anybody's questions. If anything, it shows just how much he truly doesn't care about what people say unless it affects his career negatively. Now, I've seen a lot of discussion about my Discord rules. If someone likes my Discord rules and wants to join my Discord server, they're more than welcome to join my server. If someone does not like my Discord server rules, they don't have to join my server. It 100% comes down to personal choice or preference, and you are free to agree or disagree with my rules. There are tons of other servers, Patreons, streamers, and YouTubers 
But please, don't harass my server members for choosing to be here. I post on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and some other platforms. I'm active and I interact with my community on a lot of other platforms, not just Discord. As expected, he glosses over his Discord server rules like nothing, not acknowledging how bad the rules are, or how he emotionally and verbally has manipulated young children for his own personal gain, because again, he simply doesn't care. Girl seems to think that by acknowledging the problematic existence of his Patreon and Discord, they can just give off a simple, well like guys, you don't have to give me money, or you don't have to be in my server, and that he can just get away with things. It's not the fact that people don't have to give you money or have to join your server, Garo. It's the fact that they exist the way they currently do. It's honestly astounding to see that he doesn't seem to understand why people are mad, or rather, he refuses to understand and listen because to him, nobody matters except himself and himself only. But I want to talk about the hate as well. There has been an intense amount of hate and harassment, not just towards me, but also towards my viewers, my patrons, my friends, my family members. Please don't hate and harass my viewers, patrons, friends, and family members over this. Please also do not DDoS my family members or moderators. We've been dealing with DDoS attacks for the past few days, which is not fair for anyone. It's just wrong. Nobody deserves to go through this. Finally, I just want to apologize again <clears throat> to the people I've hurt. I never intended to be hurtful. I'm learning from my mistakes, and I'm making a conscious effort to work on myself. So thank you for taking the time to listen and watching this video through. To my community, I'm sorry you have to experience this. I just want us to chat, game together, and have a good time. I'll do my best to get back to gaming and hanging out with you guys. Thank you for watching. Now it's fair for him to ask people to not harass his friends, fans, and family. That's understandable for any content creator no matter how big or small. But this whole statement video was honestly a waste of time if I'm being honest. Grau doesn't acknowledge why people hate his Patreon and his Discord server so much, he just acknowledges their existence and expects people to deal with it, while not bringing up a single valid point against him like how he's manipulated his viewers and their wallets for his own personal gain, or how he's running a borderline cult. The video is only 4 minutes long too, like come on man, at least put some effort into apologizing, he barely cares enough to make it a decent length video. The likes and dislikes were of course turned off, and to this very day he is still going through every single comment and deleting any that call him out for his behavior. Listen, if this guy doesn't seem to care too much, it's quite strange to see him going through comments over a week later and deleting the ones he doesn't like. That's all I'm gonna say. Shit, I mean at this point, I should make my own Patreon and charge people $100,000 just to add me as a friend on Discord. If he can do it, so can I. But on a serious note, this drama was very interesting to go over because Girl Shadow Scale is yet another example of a piece of shit narcissist who doesn't care about anyone but himself. His Discord rules have made that clear as day and his Patreon is just icing on top of the cake. His server rules haven't even changed since the drama went down, so it's safe to assume the guy really doesn't give a shit about anything going on, he won't change, he'll just wait for things to die down until it's safe to get back to manipulating children for money again. All I can say at the end of all this is to not support this man whatsoever. The person you see right here does not deserve any sympathy from people. The word about him needs to be spread, because this is the worst case of narcissism and manipulation I have seen in a good while on the internet. All he wants is attention for himself, so you know what? I'm simply listening to what he says by making this video, so he can't possibly get mad at this, right? Tell me your opinion on this dude, I wanna hear what you guys have to say about this pathetic, worthless, manipulative freak in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, with all of that out of the way, I will see you guys later.